For this quick fire challenge, you'll be recreating a classic French dish using only plant-based ingredients. Putting vegan and French cuisine in the same sentence, it's an oxymoron. <laughs> it's crazy. You can. We've got 45 minutes to make only vegan French classics. Kind of a twist, you know? Anybody got butter? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, no. oh Ross, you almost got me. You almost got me, Ross. <laughs> this is how you fill your bread. Back home in Vancouver, I do a lot of vegan events, and I just want to do the vegans some justice. Plus, <laughs> make them proud. I got Coquille Saint Jacques. I know there's a scallop, and it has like a cream sauce with it. So I'm cutting these potatoes to look like scallops. So I cook the potatoes in a seaweed and mushroom stock, and it's seared like a scallop. I just want it to taste like the sea. The seafood flavor is going to come from the mushrooms and uh, the kelp. I really want to win the vegan challenge. It's been difficult because I feel like I've been on top consistently and I don't get the win. Mark Simpson, Mark Simpson, Mark Simpson. Mark Simpson. <laughs> I drew foie gras parfait. Duck liver and vegan are two opposite ends of the spectrum for sure. Corner. Vegan doesn't mean, you know, no fun. It's just a challenge. My mind goes toward mushrooms. Mushrooms can be very meaty, so I just saute them and then blend them with very soft tofu, trying to replicate that decadent, rich, buttery, parfait texture, but without butter. Tastes like mushrooms. Yeah, liking it so far. I pick Coco Van, and Coco Van is a braised chicken dish that's usually you soak the chicken overnight in the red wine. At least I still got the vat. And I just want to make full flavor, simple, rustic cockle van, but with mushroom instead. Sear the mushrooms and a little bit of leek and some pearl onions. Pour the red wine over top, and you cook it all together like a chapinot au vin. Hello. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Chef. So you had the coquille St. Jack? Yes, we. Oui. So what I've done is potato two ways. Seared potato that's been cooked in mushroom and dashi, and then a potato skin jus chive oil and white wine onion foam, and just uh, torn bread cooked in the garlic oil. Do you have like a signature vegan dish? Uh, tomato consomme <laughs> with strawberries and almonds. Oh my god, he made it. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry I missed that challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Hi, Nathan. Nice to see you. OK, so you had cockle van. I wanted to keep the traditional French-style cockle van and just do it with something that is also meaty. So I roasted off my tacky mushroom and added up a little bit of portobello, a little bit of dried porcini in there. And then I used the same veggie you would normally use and the same sort of basic reduction, making a nice braise. Chapinot, all done. <laughs> nice. Well done. OK, thanks, hey, Nathan. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Ross. Hi, Hi Ross. Hi. You had foie gras parfait. I kind of went with a a light mushroom custard, pickled trumpets, roasted cauliflower, a little bit of apple cider gastrique, and arugula. And why do you choose to use cauliflower? I like the sweetness and the char of it, and uh, something a little more, more body in there with just mushrooms. You know, this is one of my signature dishes. I know. <laughs> yeah, so that wasn't scary. Mark, you had the Coquille Saint-Jacques. Your broth was amazing. It had so much umami in it. I just wanted to go back in over and over again. For us, you had the foie gras parfait. The parfait that you made was amazing. It was decadent, it was creamy, it was really overwhelmingly delicious. Nathan, you had the coco vin. I think you did a good job of making it really comforting. The broth was really good, and overall, it felt complete. All right, Amanda, please tell us who wins the French vegan challenge. The chef who flipped a French classic into a vegan victory is... Nathan. Nice.